Okay, just a second. I'm like outside on my cell phone. I'm trying to figure something out real quick, right? I'm trying to figure out how the hell to invite people up in here from the cell phone, from the app. Wait just a second. Let me see. Okay, invite a guest. Okay, copy the clipboard. I'm new to this damn stream yard stuff, man, especially doing this. I don't even know how to show my my goddamn um wait a second, man. What the hell? How do I'll post a comment? Okay, wait. How, how do I post? Okay, post a comment there. Let's go chat. Okay, post it up here. Wait a second, man. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Now, hopefully, man, my voice is able to be picked up and heard. Okay? Now, we did a stream yesterday. And the soul brother from another soul mother came into my comment section and said that I was very, very disrespectful to the point I allowed these two sisters that he used to be in um, relationships with to come up on my panel and slander his name. So I told him to join today and come on and defend his honor. Let's hear his side of the story. So I'm just going to patiently wait. We're going to sit back just for a second. I mean, I could be doing my own um, live stream at this point because I have so many different topics that I need to speak on. But I'll be laying back patiently up in the cut. Be laying back patiently up in the cut, allowing motherfuckers to get they to come on and get their rocks on. So, uh, snup nut, snup nut, click onto the video. Why the fuck are you not watching this video, bro? Come on to the panel, defend yourself. Since I'm allowing um two of your um ex exes, your ex girlfriends to come on my panel and make mockery of you, Negro. Then come on, let, let's hear your side of the story. Come on and defend your honor. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm going to sit here and wait. Hopefully, because I know, man, it was like a heated, heated, heated discussion yesterday. And, um, uh, my moderator ended up placing, um, and just nothing up seven or a timeout. So I'm hoping I will even be able to see what he's saying. But I noticed I also lost a subscriber. I lost a fucking subscri a subscriber. But now I see why. Because when I hear that Napasha Da got Angel Snup Nup Seven's um channel, two of his channels taken down. No wonder I fucking lost a goddamn subscriber. Like what the fuck? But I'm just waiting, man. Hey, man, I'm going to call you out, brother. I'm giving you the chance to come onto the platform and share your side of the story. Man, the early bird gets the worm. The early bird gets the worm. So I'm allowing you to, the opportunity to come onto the panel and defend your side of the story, bro. I'm going to sit here and wait. I'm going to wait for just like a couple minutes. You know? I'm over here smoking my early, early morning um blunt. Earth calling Snup Nup 7. Reality's temple on Earth, man. It's your time to come on, brother. Because, man, we're going to give you... I, I personally, mano y mano, man to man, will give you 
a certain amount of time. It may be a little bit too early. I'm going to give you a certain amount of time. Um, Brother Snup Nup, are you there? It's your time to come on and share your side of the story, bro. I'm not going to set you up, bro. I will not do that. It's time for you because you had your two um ex-girlfriends up in here, man. You feel me, bro? This is this brother to brother right now. Hopefully, Malia, Aaliyah, Miss, Miss Aaliyah is listening, right? Because she fucked with um, Snup Nut. She fucked with I mean, at one point in time, right? But Snup Nut had his two, his two women's. <laughs> had his two women's coming up on here. No disrespect to the women's, <laughs> to the sisters. To the queens, we all deserve queens. We all deserve sisters, sisters. So snub nut, man. I want you to join this panel, bro. Because it's your time to shine. It's your time to at least come on and just give the people, let the people know your side of the story. See, I hate to be in between these breakups, man. Because you and Aaliyah Muhammad. I'm going to keep it 1,000. Okay, wait a second. I got a guest. I got a guest. Okay, wait a second. I'm using. Okay, here we go. Okay, hold up. Add to stream. Okay. Um, with, okay, just, okay, bro, brother. Um, Okay, just a second, bro. What I was about to tell you, bro, is can you hear me good, first of all? Can you hear me good enough to be able to make out what I'm saying, bro? I hear you just fine. Okay, cool. Well, first of all, what I was about to say, and then I'm going to pass over the microphone to you, is you and Aaliyah Robinson, man, Patricia Robinson, Aaliyah Muhammad, whatever you want to call it, y'all should have been married. Every brother deserves a sister. Every lion deserves a lioness. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what happened and why that union went sour. But you heard the accusation that was made against you, brother, and I just, man, I didn't want you to come on the panel, man, because they was just going to turn into a clown show yesterday. But um, we have Brother Angel Snupnup on seven here. Angel Snupnup, Tali Keeper Raw here. And I, I'm going to hand over the microphone to you, and I'm going to mute my mic. I want you to talk about all the accusations that's been made against you and just tell the, tell the well, story. Actually, the actually, business. actually, I'm not I'll even interested. Well, okay. actually... I'm not even interested in those things. Okay. Actually. Yeah. Because they they've been beat up and they've been whooped up for months. And the yeah. people the people themselves see exactly that these persons are foul. There's no need for me to come on your channel to explain anything because somebody can come on your channel and make all kinds of claims that they want. But they bring no proof except their mouth and crying and deflecting. And I saw how you guys was laughing and giggling when uh, Sister Noble was hollering and screaming. Yes, okay, that's nice. You, ha you call that ethering. That's not ethering. I'm cool, calm, and collect. I'm asking her to answer the questions, answer some questions. All that hollering and screaming. I don't want to be on the same panel with him. Why? It is deflection. It is because if we sit down and force them to actually answer some questions, they're going to get caught up in their lives. I don't have to do all that because as long as people have heard me, I have been consistent in what I say. And you wasn't there. So you can't tell me what did or did not happen. So I'm not even really interested. I would talk about if you have some questions or whatever that you want to raise up, you can bring that. If yeah, I, you want, I, will, I will address that. But right now I want to address you. Okay. Well, oh, I want to address okay. you. I want to address you and God. Because okay. we just, it, it hasn't even been a week. It hasn't even been a week. Now, I was on that panel with Sister Nandy. 
And the purpose of that panel was to bash Guy, this guy, this other person I don't know, and Aaliyah Porkchop. I have no comments to this other person because I don't even know who Nandy talked about, this killer B person. I don't know who that is. And I told them, I just came to some kind of understanding with God. I have no comment. And if you listen to the video, I said nothing. I added nothing to the commentary to what Black Sign was talking about. And plus, on top of that, I think it really was more so of a misunderstanding that was going on that blew out of proportion. That's what the way I look at it. Just a misunderstanding. People took things out of uh, context. It's, it's it shouldn't even it shouldn't even blown to that to that point. I wanted to talk about Aaliyah Porkchop, and that's all you heard me say on that broadcast against her. And yes, I have a vendetta against her. I don't like her. I hate her guts because of what she done to me. She know what she done to me. She can come to you or whoever and cry and do all this old bull crap. I know what that woman done to me. And I'm not going to let her slide. Okay, what did that woman do to you, brother? I mean, but you said you had to, you had to speak to me about me and God. But what you said, you also just said, that woman done to you. I, mean, I was just speaking with that woman. What did that woman do to you, brother? What did she do to you? Which one you want to cover from? Which that woman, you that woman was verbally abusive. She stole my money. She stole my hat. She stole my coat. She stole my bath towels. She tried to put me out of her house in the coldest day of Toledo, three foot of snow. She's a piece of garbage. She's a piece of trash. She tried to convert me to Islam. It's a lie. How long have you known me, Craig? Shoot. I mean, I've known of you for about 14, 15 years. Okay. You were the first um, a speaker that I started listening to on YouTube, man, with the black conscious stuff. You was the first. Okay. Did I ever claim to be a Muslim? No, sir. You said many things and you've always um taken um you you were against the nation of Islam because you've made multiple videos that I've been watching over the years regarding Malcolm and how um um Elijah Muhammad was wrong and he yeah. slept with these teenage girls and stuff and was responsible for the the putting out the hit the murder yeah. him and Farrakhan putting yeah. out the hit murder of um you know, murdering Brother Malcolm, man. Right. Oh, no. So, so since you've known me for 14 years, you never, you heard me always speak against the nation in that type of manner. You never heard me confess or say that I was a Muslim. Uh, long live Elijah Muhammad. I've never been a Muslim. I've never been a Muslim. I stopped believing in God when I was locked up, like 2003, 2004. When I came to YouTube, I was the reality's temple on earth. I never claimed to be. Now, you may remember, sometimes I might wear my, my bow tie, right? You remember some of the videos, I might wear a bow tie. Well, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, I do. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that's the only thing. And in my early videos, in my very early videos, you remember I used to even have the uh, star and crescent on the wall sometimes, if you remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember all that stuff back. I remember the old days. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the old days. Yeah, well, the reason why I've done that because I didn't know how to, you know, spice up my videos. So I would put, you know, some kind of decorations in the background or whatever. I didn't know how to do my videos the way that I do now. So I didn't have no images or, or whatever. And Nation of Islam is all that I knew. And I still, I like the flag. I like that flag. I like wearing my bow tie. I still like that stuff. So what? They're not the only ones in the world that wear bow ties. People wear bow ties all over the world. They ain't the first one ever wore a damn bow tie. I like bow ties. I, like, I just like it, bro. And um, I like it because it was about something black. Like, you got to take into account during that time period, man. Look, at black folks have nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, 
we, we didn't even have no type of self esteem. We had very low self esteem about Absolutely. ourselves. Absolutely, that was good yes, for that so, time. Yes, yes. So that's why I have respect. But go ahead, yeah. bro. I don't mean to touch you. I'm yes. Just, so, you. but I just want to ask you that because this fat ass pig talking about I was a Muslim pretending to be a Muslim. I have never pretended to be no damn Muslim. I've never been no FOI in 2013. This is 2013 when I met her fat sloppy ass. I was not no Muslim. And I never talked like no. I never claimed that she's a damn lie. And before I even had any relations, talk to this woman about coming to see her or having a relationship with her. I asked her point blank because I already knew I was not attracted to her. I said, can you yeah. handle a sexist relationship? And her happy ass said, yes. Okay, see, I got a question for you. Chris, 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 yeah. brother. Was there ever a time to where you loved her? No. Oh, you never loved her? You never I never loved, loved her. her. Okay. I never loved her. I thought it could turn into that. I liked her, but I did not love her. I liked her for the persona that she was giving me, giving to me on the phone. But once I got there in her house, it was a whole different ball game. She's a tyrant. She's an egotistical maniac. She thinks she's the second coming of Elijah Muhammad. She runs her house like it's a slave plantation. All those girls and grandchildren she got in her house, those are her zombies and slaves. She sit her fat ass in her room and they treat her like some kind of queen. They cook and clean and she sit in her room and she and, and they bring her food like she's like she queen Cleopatra some damn body. And she talk about, oh, wow. and she talk about, I want a man in the house. She don't want no man in the house. She just want that penis in the house to give an illusion. I got a man. She's not going to let you be a man in that house. You a subject of hers. Oh, wow. She wants you to be, she thought, I, now out of all the people on the internet, she should have known I was the wrong one. I don't go for that stuff. Here I am. I know just I know just as much about the nation of Islam as she do. I was introduced to the nation of Islam when I was eight, nine years old. My people are in the nation of Islam. I got all the nation of Islam material that they sent me that they sent me before the nation fell in 1975. And I wasn't even a member, but my people knew how bad I wanted to join the nation of Islam. They start sending me the lessons. You know, all the stuff that you get when you become a member. I couldn't be a member. I was only eight, nine years old. So she talking all this stuff like she's some kind of expert on the nation of Islam. Lady, I know the teaching. I know the nation of Islam just as good as you do. And my auntie, my auntie put her happy ass in check. And she's not, she's talking like, she's close to Elijah Muhammad or she was close to Farrakhan. Like she, like her people really had some type of you know, real close to the inner workings of the nation. They was nothing but ordinary, regular members like my people was. Ain't nobody was close to Elijah Muhammad or nothing. Matter of fact, she's angry at Louis Farrakhan because Farrakhan wouldn't let her into his inner circle, you know, close to him like that. And I don't blame him. She's a piece of trash. That's why she don't like Louis Farrakhan. And this woman, talking about what I haven't and haven't done. Okay, I was locked up for 10 years. What was you doing? I was locked up between 1998 and 19, I mean, 2007. What was you doing? Okay, I was locked up. But see, my activity did not stop. I still was an activist, even when I was locked up. I fought for the rights of those patients. I still was trying to teach my brothers and sisters in that place to be proud of their black their blackness. So my my uh, activity never stopped. And I was in the jaws of the enemy 24 hours a day. I'm facing this peck of wood every day, 24 hours a day. So my activity never stopped. I've been active ever since I was eight, nine years old. I was born in Jim Crow. I was eight, nine years old protesting by myself against them peck of woods. I would not pledge allegiance to the flag. And when I was growing up, that was the law. It was mandatory. But we, I want to go back to this point to show you the simple lie 
because you know that I was not a Muslim. Never. I never proclaimed to be a Muslim ever. I asked this woman, could you handle a sexless marriage? See, this is the thing about me. For some reason, y'all want me to be a hoe. Angel Snub number seven ain't a hoe. I've never been a hoe. I have value on myself. I don't jump in and out of beds with every Mary, Aaliyah, and Noble. I take my time. I don't, I'm not, I'm not a whore. Some woman's ass. Don't I don't care about that. You don't you don't impress me like that. I, I can't be controlled by somebody's ass. You want to control me? You want respect from me? Show me your intelligence. Show me that you want liberation for your people. Show me that you got some kind of discipline. Do you know how many times I've been called a homosexual and all about women because I wouldn't give in to them? You must be a homosexual. Whatever, lady. I'm not going to sleep with you. I've had married women come on to me because they just like the way I carry myself. I've had many, many married women come to me. I wish my husband was like you. But see, this comes from being real. I was real when I was a Christian because I was raised up in the Baptist church. And I was real when I was a Muslim. You do not fornicate. You do not commit adultery in Christianity. You do not commit fornication or adultery in Islam. And I still carry that to this day, even though I don't I don't uh, advocate those religious belief systems. Yes, that lifestyle is good for me. I don't have to, I don't have no children running around here. I don't yes, have sir. no STDs. <laughs> I'm cool. I don't have so no brother, baby mamas <laughs> you know, to deal with. Yeah, brother Angel Snubner, before we continue with the situation regarding the sisters, could um you speak on the issue that you have regarding me and brother guy can we speak on that real quick so i could try to okay ease your mind? Yes, sir. it's real it's real simple okay i came to an understanding with guy right and according to it's only according to my record it's only been about five days he said out of his mouth i'm not going to be on no panel with nobody who is bashing me or whatever that's what he said out of his own mouth we I got it okay, let me let, okay, let's stop there, bro. I'm trying I gotta address every point. Bro, yesterday's stream was not meant to be a bashing of you, but it turned into that. We were supposed to be talking about black sun and God. That's right. what the whole stream was about, bro. Right. But then he invited Leah Muhammad and um sister No. That's when it became of bashing the whole stream. Like, I wanted to take the stream down. I'm thinking about putting the stream on private still because, bro, the stream did not go as planned. And you, and you should, supposed- Brother Craig. Yes, sir. You should, Brother Craig, because because uh, that's that's not that's not fair. I was on a panel with Nandi and Black Sun. Black Sun wanted to, to go in on God. And I told them, see, my the reason I, why I was there because I want to uh, put out my information about this fat ass swamp rat, Aaliyah Porkchop Muhammad. But I told them as far as, see, they was talking about Napasha Da, Sanetta, Aaliyah, Porkchop, and this person I don't even know nothing about. But I told them I was in negotiations with Napa and Sanetta. I'm talking to them. And we come to a to a uh, to an understanding. So I don't want to talk about Nepal, and so now I'm not going to add to that. And I'm not going to talk about guy. I just came to an understanding with him, and they they didn't they didn't trip off of it. I didn't say nothing. When they talked about Nepal Shada, I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing when they talked about guy. I did not say nothing. My thing was that fat ass piece of trash, garbage. Aaliyah, Patricia Robinson. There ain't no Aaliyah nothing. You know, that Aaliyah stuff come from her days when she was a Hebrew Israelite. She's a confused person just like Sister Noble is. They don't know what the hell they want to be. Hebrew Israelites, Christians, Muslims, they don't know. Agnostics, they don't know what the hell. They all confused. I've been consistent in what I am. Like you said, I've been the way I am since I've been on YouTube. 14, 15 years. 
Yes, sir. And it, the, the live stream, and Sister Noble was invited to that live stream. Matter of fact, Guy and Sister Noble was invited to their to the live stream, and Aaliyah Porkchop. All three of their cowardly ass didn't show up until the very end. And Guy took his punk pan African ragged ass. He got off the live stream because he couldn't handle the heat. Nobody there liked him. Nobody there likes Noble. Nobody there likes Aaliyah Porcha. They don't like the, the chat room beating the hell out of all of them. They don't even like them. Yeah, I hear you, bro. I love Brother but, God. But look at it. And I love on, you. The, on this live stream, it was supposed to be about that. Sister Noble bring her ragged ass on and turn it. Let me start explain. talking about me. Let me just explain something real quick, bro. You know, I never. I'm, I love Brother Guy and Hollywood Jr. And I love you. This is why. You know what I'm saying? We've had our little um, issues. I, bro, I remember you from way back when you was um, debating with that um, racist, white supremacist man. Remember <laughs> Keelan? <laughs> Keelan you know, um, and I remember you was debating with this, that one dude. Um, I forgot what his name was, man. That black dude. Um, I, I can't recall his name. We used to be on the blog talk radio shows. You was debating with that. What was his name? Jay. Oh, damn. Um, you ain't talking that about T-Mar. No, not t -Ma. No, the okay. other dude, the young guy. The dude that was like a, had gold teeth and he was like. Oh, a, JT Riley. <laughs> yeah, J, yeah, J, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> so I remember all those days. Yeah. And I remember um, JT Riley, you crushed him. Mm -hmm. You had the mop. Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, bro, yeah. Again, hey. he loved, go ahead. Bro. <laughs> I remember all these days, bro. But go ahead. Hey, JT Riley even had to laugh at it. He wrote me a message. He said, "Man, you got me. You got me." <laughs> yeah, with the mop and stuff, man. Yeah, and I got him with the with the mop thing. The kilo. He, he he wrote me. Matter of fact, I'm still cool with JT on Facebook. Facebook right now. Mm hmm. I'm still cool with now, JT. Look, yeah, I remember T Mont. You know yeah, I'm still, cool with T I'm still cool with I'm still cool with T Mont. Oh, he's still living. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> you said he was a police officer. You tell me what for that. No, he he uh he works hey. for Marta. For huh? He works for Marta oh. in Atlanta. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The but same yeah, place. Um, the same place that Sister Noble got fired from, which we we will yeah. always remember because every she stops she stopped talking about that. I guess because we kept. Making mockery of it because it's stupid. Why you keep yeah. every every video that you make? I, I got fired from Marta. I got fired from Shoe Show. I got damn lady, find another job to go and bust your life. You know the problem, bro. Is man, uh -huh. I love I. The problem is I love brother guy and I love you. I love brother guy as a brother and I love you as a brother. This is why I be fighting every chance that I can to try to bring you two brothers together because man, we got enough tribalism. And this is what you brothers seem to be on, like some tribal stuff, because you have a different ideology, but the guy has a different ideology. So y'all cool. like Look. brother Craig. That's cool. Yes, the, the, the name calling is the problem. You know, don't call me no coon. Don't call me no Sam. Don't call me traditions, Uncle Tom's and all this stuff. And don't and you know I'm peace to, treaty. Huh? Y'all made a peace treaty just a Last time that we was talking, you and Brother Guy, Nollywood, made a peace treaty. Remember, y'all was going to be back cool again. And then last night on my stream, I'm like, damn, my head ain't even went live. Now, all of a sudden, now y'all back at each other's throats. Remember, we had a peace treaty. We had we had a peace treaty he, between you Fred, and Brother Guy, man. Fred, he, he, he broke that. He broke that when he started laughing with those women. You know, you sit on that on the program. And let that fat ass pig talk about. I hope you die. See, yeah, that was that ain't cool right there. No, no, listen, bro. No, I do not condone that. She's talking about. Did you hear what she said? And I gotta. I hope Leah is listening. That shit wasn't cool. She's talking about yeah. her and sister Nova gonna come, and when you die, they gonna come dance up on your gravesite. Yeah. No hell, no, brother. I don't. No, no. That show went what, bro? That show was not intended to be talked about you like that. It was supposed yeah. to just be me and brother guy. I was just helping brother guy against um black son, and we was just gonna play yeah. a couple of things, and we was gonna laugh at the 
at the end when you and um Sister Noble went at it with each other. You know what I'm saying? But um, it turned off into something other. It, it turned into a show all about you, brother. Right. I'm like, all what? About me. Yo, yeah, I couldn't even get control of my own show yesterday, man. And I will, I will put that on private. I have to put that on private. But it's getting views. That's the only reason I ain't put it on private yet. Well, you know why it's getting views, don't you? <laughs> it's a whole bunch of food. Because it is what it is. It's, it's beef crap. Yeah, but I'm gonna put that that joint on private, or oh, I'm gonna just delete the video, and, man. I, but go ahead, brother. And I'm, I'm there. These cowards won't even let me come on. I'm here. I wanted you let to come me. on. And see, this is the thing about it: all that screaming and hollering is nothing but deflection tactics. No, let's you you're gonna maintain your cool because you wouldn't do that in a courtroom. Because God, that's what He always talk about. Talking about going to court and stuff like that. Well, I don't even think God has any any experience in a courtroom. I got lots of experience in a courtroom. Well, tell me something, brother. Um, I just, man, you know, man, I get, man, you 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 are elder, Uthman. You know, you are. I'm talking about yeah. elder, shown, yeah, like show what you are about, bro. Like you've done great things, but you know, the question that I ask is, you know, I love brother guy in Hollywood. I love. Brother Angel Snubnut, seven. I love both of my brothers. But I'm starting to have a little bit of, I'm starting to form love with Aaliyah Robinson. So what I'm asking you, brother, <laughs> I mean, no, I'm talking about just a sis. No, no, no. She's like, oh, she probably, well, she's close to being my mama. No, no, she ain't old enough to be my mama. But she's old enough to be like my aunt, my auntie, my little, my young auntie. So what I'm saying is, I'm looking at her <laughs> as a sister. <laughs> don't laugh, bro. <laughs> Craig, no, Craig, you do you. not see this thing about. I don't, know. I don't know. This ding bag just come from out of nowhere. You know me, and watch me for 14 years. Sister Noble, been knowing me since 2009, and we got to know each other and whatever. I've been to Sister Noble's house, and we talked for hours and hours or whatever. Sister Noble knows me in person, and God has known me since 2007. Here comes some raggedy piece of lump that come out of, from nowhere, and y'all, just because I guess she can cry or how she talk or whatever, y'all actually going to pick her over, over me. She don't bring no receipts. She don't bring nothing except her, the crying, and I didn't do no, you a damn lie, you fat ass hog, you a damn lie. And see, that's how she tried to get over with her crocodile tears. But brother, but brother but see, this is, <laughs> yo, I mean, a sister, a sister is being called a fat hog. I mean, yo. See, you don't even know her history. No, you don't know nothing about no, her. No, okay, this I'm about woman, to ask you that. I'm about to ask you that, brother. Just give okay. it just a second. You are a brother. A sister is being called a fat hog. Is being talked about like she is, but she's, like the scum of the earth. Like she's she not is the scum human. of the earth. Well, hold up, brother. Hold up. I'm going to give you a check. Like she's not even human. She's not human. She's an animal. She is. Okay, brother. Well, well come on, man. I mean, so a black woman with black with, with, with dark skin is not a, not a sister? Well, what do they say? Down. Break that down. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know her. I know her. I know, I know her, and there's a lot of other people that know her. She's been just like Brother Talib said. She's been all the way around the world in the Nation of Islam community, and she's not welcome nowhere. Nobody wants to be around her at all. She's foul. She used to have a a, a blog talk show just for sisters, right? Ask her what happened with all that. She was talking about those women's behind their back because she was jealous that they had husbands and stuff and what they got and what they had going on. And she's talking about them behind their back. She's a foul person. She smiles in your face and talk about you behind your back. She stabs you in the back. There was a video that we made together and she tried to use me for her benefit, but it's not. it wasn't going to work. Because she's foul. 
We wanted to bring everybody together and create a community or whatever. But see, she's saying one thing out of her mouth, but behind the scenes, she want to try to force everybody to be Nation of Islam. I said, that's not my purpose. This is a community of diverse ideologies and beliefs or whatever. We come together and we're going to buy this land and start this community or, or whatever. <laughs> but they got to be under Nation of Islam. No. No, we, this, is, this is a community of black folks helping black people trying to, so that we can survive easier by our unity. That's, that, that she, she's, that's not her thing. Her thing is she is the leader and everybody's supposed to fall under her version of Elijah Muhammad's teaching. That's her whole thing. She wants followers, but she can't get none. The only thing she can do, the best thing she can do is force her children and grandchildren to follow, follow her. Nobody is going to follow her. Everything she ever done, everything she ever touched fails because she's foul. She's angry at Angel Snuffin Up Seven because she wonders. This Negro is not even is not promoting Islam. He's not RBG. He's not a Christian. How the hell can he have a platform and, and she can't get nobody to listen to her? That's her thing. She wants to be a leader. She wants to be a leader. She wants to be control. She wants to tell people what to do. And she wants to push Elijah Muhammad's penis down your throat. Why you two didn't get married? <laughs> I, I did a, yeah, no, seriously, bro. Bro, I, why did, you two I, did, have a, I did have a fake marriage with her. And that's the only reason why I done it, because I knew it was a fake marriage. Whoa. Look, my problem was I was, at a, I was in a bad position in life at the time. And I didn't want to be homeless. I never been, I never lived in my car. I never lived on the street before. So that was a scary proposition. When she came up into, into the mix and offered me a place, and I thought maybe we might be able to do something, then I went for it. I took the gamble. I should have lived in my car. That's what I should have done. The only thing this woman did was take. She even come on, on the blog talk and even brag about it. I got his wedding ring. And I pawned it. If she's such a sister, Craig, if she's such a lover of black people, and she was so goody two shoot to me the way she claimed. And she was a lover of you, brother. Huh? She was up in the bedroom with you, holding you at night. That was a horrible, that was a horrible bro, experience. Bro, Let me tell you something. Nah, that, woman, go ahead, tell, tell, tell. that woman, that woman raped me, Craig. She raped me. I didn't even realize I was raped until Sister Noble. And Karen start talking about, you know, sexual abuse and raping. And then I start thinking about it. I said, that woman raped me because I did not want her. And I said, no, I told her I was not interested in no, in no sexual relations with her. She's a thirsty, fat ass pig. She's willing to put any pole up in her ass. And then she talking about she wanted me to suck her. Vagina. I'm a lady. Now, I, that's where I drew the line and I'm ready to go homeless because I'm not sucking your crap. Now, if, you, if I can lay here and let you suck mine if you want to. You eat chillings? Huh? <laughs> you eat chillings? No, I don't eat chilling. And, <laughs> and you've been listening, listening to, me, to me for a long time. You know I'm against sodomy. That oral sex, anal sex, that's, that's not sex. That's, that's sodomy. The only sex is sexual intercourse. The penis is a sex organ. The vagina is a sex organ. And they intercourse. That's sexual intercourse. Your mouth is not a sex organ. The anus is not a sex organ. Your tongue is not a sex organ. That's, that's sodomy. Look it up. And you know something? I didn't even look it up. I just guessed. I just guessed that that was sodomy. And then I just so happy. I said, let me look this up. And see what oil, you know, what this is about. And it's sodomy. Matter of fact, if matter of fact, if you listen to some of these police reports, they will talk about some man sodomized a child. That means he made that child suck his penis or something like that. Because he damn sure can't have no sex with no little infant. But the but he can make an infant suck his penis. So they're putting the law. 
I wish they would allow. I wish they would uh, allow you to come on the panel yesterday when you were trying to join. But I just See, didn't want about the show it, to get too crazy, bro. I didn't want the show to get this like nuts. Like that's yeah, it. It's going to be nuts. Bro. It's going to be nuts because that's deflection. That's distraction and deflection tactics. They don't want to just be cool, calm, and collect. Let me. You shut your damn mouth. Answer the question. I answer back and forth. You know the same way, just like guy talking that, that crap, talking about a courtroom, which he never he don't he's never experienced court, but I have plenty of time. Shut your damn mouth, and the prosecutor say what he has to say, and the defense say what they got to say. The way they do in a courtroom, I I'm, I I tear their ass up. They don't have nothing to stand on because they know what I'm talking about is 100% true. Sister Noah's problem is she's a mess up and don't want to take res responsibility for what she do. Yeah, I want to get to so Sister Nova next, but what I'm saying is, um, you know, that little beef that was going on between you and um Brother Maurice, man, that's what made me just give up, bro. That's well, look, why at this. Man, look, look at this, Craig, that's though. That's why I stopped doing the radio show or all that yeah. stuff, man. But look at it's look look at the difference between th them and Craig. I mean, <laughs> them and Craig. <laughs> <laughs> no, look at the difference between them and and Maurice. Maurice That's find out that I'm in the hospital. Even though we went through all this, Maurice sent me a message on my Facebook or whatever. And he said, "Hey, brother, you know, I know we've been had our whatever uh, back and forth. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you're in the hospital." That's what I love so, about Brother Maurice. So I got, you know, so I'm in laying in the hospital. I'm still, look, I got this message. I'm in the hospital with all these gadgets on me. I mean, I got all kinds of hoses and <laughs> I'm all Brother Maurice was there for you. Brother Maurice was there. And yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, and see, and Sister Noble, only thing she's doing is regurgitating the crap that, that Pork Chop is talking about. Sister Nova had an opportunity to know my family and meet my family. They was ready to meet her. She never made not one attempt to come to visit my family member. I went to visit her at least three times. That's 3,000 miles. She never made no attempt to come see me at all, not one time. And my people didn't like that. they like, you've been to see this woman three times driving, you know, putting all those miles on your car. And this woman never made not one attempt. Now, mind you, I'm paying for the trip. She it's not costing her nothing. I'm paying for the trip. She never made, and she never made no attempt. When I went into the hospital, she never made no attempt to come see me. Now, mind you, don't let her talk about her job. She only worked. She only worked. She out of her own mouth. She said she only worked two days out of the out of the week. Why you couldn't come see me in the hospital? Yes, sir. Man, I want to correct something real quick. Yeah. I had never, well, there, there was a time, brother, um, Angel Stuffing Up Seven, that I used to say that I'm Pan African. But now, yeah. I've, I, man, I've gotten rid of, it, rid of that, man. You've seen the change in me and the, yeah. the stuff that yeah. I'm saying. Because I've seen that it's nothing but a hustle. I'm not Pan African. I'm Pan mm -hmm. Nigerian. I'm Pan my tribe, Pan mm -hmm. my people. I'm not. How the hell could I claim an entire continent of people who never looked at it at, at each other as um being brothers? Never looked at each other. They never. Hey, bro, bro, bro. Wait a second. I don't get that call. Wait a second. Hold on. Let me decline that. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting the call when I'm on live, but yeah, bro. That's why, man. We, man, we we gravitate. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell? Okay. Wait, can you still hear me, bro? Hello? Yeah. Okay, you can still hear me. Okay. Just a second. Okay, yeah, my bad. I know what I'm saying. Man, I was mm -hmm. getting a call and it fucked up because I'm on my cell phone. Okay. Doing the streaming. You right. Know what I'm and saying, Box the volume yeah. down. Yeah, the yeah, the volume is down, man, because of this call. Can you hear me right. better now or no? Or not really? I hear you fine. I hear you fine. Okay, you can do it. Uh, all right. But what I'm saying is, damn, I'm starting to lose my train of thought. But 
One thing I gotta say. <laughs> Stop smoking the all that weed. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, man, I, I live a very degenerate lifestyle. That's why I also <laughs> say that. Although I love Brother Mount and I love Brother Garvey, mm-hmm. I could never follow in the footsteps. Of, I could never say that I represent their vision for yeah. our people because um, Brother Malcolm was a man who didn't smoke, didn't mm-hmm. drink, didn't do anything. And, you know, um, man, but one of my other favorite here, actually, I believe I will put this man right here above um, um, Garvey in. And I want Ask you a question, man. Could you take a guess of the brother that I talk about that I will put above all? And you should know, brother. Mm-hmm. The brother that I hold in regard, in the highest regard, above now. Brother, you know. Okay, there's a, a brother and a sister that I hold above Malcolm and above God. If you can't, if you don't know, just, just say you don't. Know, you want me to say. You, yeah, I, I don't know. Get... Oh, come on, man. What's this man's name? Nathaniel. Nathaniel who, brother? Who? Oh, Nat Nath- Turner. Nathaniel Turner. Right. And who is the sister? American. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. These are real revolutionaries. No These doubt. People fought against slavery. Yeah, um, brother Nathaniel Turner was lynched, man, was skinned alive. They yeah. put him up on, they lynched this man just because he was trying to fight to um, break free from the bondage of slavery. Um, Harriet Tubman, look yeah. at what that sister went through. Yeah, look at what she had to go through, bro, just to get her own self free. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so but I also do love brother. Malcolm and Brother Garvey, but no, they're not on the same level as Brother um, Nat Turner and um, sister. I mean, as King Nat Turner and Queen um, Harriet Tubman, brother. But I'm gonna turn it over to my phone to you, bro. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, uh, I was just dis- I'm just disappointed in God because He did break His word. I did not break my word. I didn't say anything about him, and I was on a panel with Nandy. I made it very clear. I'm not. I didn't say anything about him at all. And then he turns around, simping for these women, cause they cry. You know, they ain't done nothing for black people. I know Sister Noble ain't never done nothing for. She been in her happy ass. She been in church most of the time. She ain't never done nothing for no black folks. And Aaliyah Muhammad ain't did nothing for no. Ain't done nothing for no black folks either. She ain't did. Matter of fact, there was a woman right next door to her, a single mother trying to raise her children. She was angry at this sister simply because she would park in the parking space in front of in front of the house now and then, you know, on a public street. You know, on a public street, there's an understanding between all the people on the street. That, you know, you can park in front of your house, but that's a public street. Anybody can park anywhere the hell they want to park on a public street. So this sister next door, she might come home and her space is not available. Somebody's in it. So she will go and park, you know, where she can, she can park. And here come this old fat pig. Look at that bitch. Now, uh, see, see, y'all don't know the woman. See, I, I know her. Look at that bitch parked in my space. And I told her this this ham hock. I said, look, I said, that lady is uh she just parked where she could. That's the public street. She didn't care. That bitch, you know, called this woman all out her name. And uh she always even had some of her daughters trying to listen to what was going on with that woman next door to try to hear her business. So she can snitch and try to harass her, you know, to bother that woman. These are this. This is your sister. And then, OK, Craig, see. You got some kind of love because she put on this show for you. But. uh, I got the video, you know, you know, my channels got taken down, right? 
Cray. Black man went to sleep or something. Craig. Oh, well, I guess it's the end. Well, thank y'all for listening. I don't know what happened, but the host is gone. But I'll say this before I get out of here. Oh, yeah, my bad, bro. <laughs> I'm not sure, bro, which everything that you say. You may have called my name. I had to step out. Man, yeah. I'm awesome. Did you call my name, bro? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm back. My, my bad, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm just trying to man my car. It's up in the shop. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why I say, man, the most true brother, the most true brother revolution. Look at it. But peace to Brother Bacar. Peace to Brother Bacar. Black power to Brother Bacar. And Brother Angel Snuff Number Seven, and um, and I can I can this, say peace uh, to Brother Bakari too because Brother Bakari is just over there doing his thing. So I can say peace to bro Brother Bakari. Brother Bakari is over there doing Team Black doing his thing. He don't talk about Angel Snuff Number Seven. He just do his thing. Now Cool Cool Cutter. No, he's he's not into that. Heck no. Now, Cool Cool Cutter is in the chat hey, room. He's in the chat room. Cool, no, not not in our chat room here. I'm talking about okay. he's in, Cool Cool Cutter is in the chat room. You know, with his little corny comments, talking about somebody mentally. And how can he talk about anybody? And he's a he said out of, out of his own mouth, he's a drunk. Oh. He got anger issues. He had to, you know, he almost killed somebody with a baseball bat. I think that's what he said. How the hell you? I you saw the picture. You, yeah, you I saw the screen when you even got into it, bro. You know me, yeah. man. I put it all out, bro. Trust to believe. I saw that stream. Yeah, because I told he got angry because I told him I did not want to debate his Pan African friend. I'm not doing it. And then he got on his phone and start telling them people. I was sending him a text, and he was telling them the texts that I was. Sending him, you know, sharing private conversation. You know, yes, sir. He's, he's he's foul. But anyway, let's go but back yeah. to, to let me let me go let me tell you, let me tell you something about this woman here, this pork chop lady. Her daughter, and I put the post, I put the post up on my channel. Her daughter said that her behavior is wacky and she knows she her behavior is wacky because her mother, Aliyah Muhammad, is an abuser. And the same child, young lady that put up that post, she told me that that woman slapped her so hard, busted her eardrum. Oh, I feel you, bro. And I she was trying, she told me, she said she said she was trying to be a, a lifeguard, you know. But I but because her, her eardrum was busted, you know, she could she can't go back into the water because her eardrum got busted. Yeah, sisters have done me the same way, bro. I feel your pain. Sisters have done bro, I love sisters. Sisters have done me so bad. Yeah. To where ooh, I hate them. They're they become an enemy, certain ones. I'm not saying all sisters, but I'm saying there's some sisters. Done some very very foul things to to me. So I, I know, man. I'm listening to you, brother. I'm listening. Craig, to you. I hear you. Craig, look look at this. I gave Sister Noble thousands of dollars. I paid off her car. Only thing she want to do is scream and holler. Okay, what did I do so bad that you be that you turn into an ingrate? She didn't have nothing, Craig. I fed that woman for a year or so. Jesus Christ, man! And I you put know, new car. I put new tires on her Jesus car, all the, all the way around. Jesus Christ, bro! And my thing is, I hate to butt in. I hope that Sister Noble can at least listen to this and hear this. But the thing is, man, it's oh man, it's hard to find. You ain't gonna find a brother like Andrew Snuff. No, I mean somebody that feeding you for it. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not trying to take no sides. Not just one. Your sister, brother, listen to me. 
I ain't trying to take no side with a man, a black man, a black man, because if she was with a white man, oh shit, I'd be all man, I'd be calling her the hell out. Mm -hmm. But she she got a black man that is purchased her um her phone, purchased her a computer, a yeah. chair to sit down, sit sit her behind. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. helped her get tires, helped her with her car, yeah. gave a um a damn credit card up in her name. Like, come on, yo, yeah. bro, and she, the and she need to respect that, brother. But well, go ahead, and bro. She, and she she abused she abused the credit card. We was in a relationship, right? And I'm on the road, so. A lot of places is not going to take credit card numbers over the telephone. So I gave her that credit card for emergency purposes. You know, like if the car break down or, or something like that, she abused the privilege. She was eating on the credit card. She was eating better than I was every day in some restaurant eating. I'm like, you can't do that. Buy you some groceries and cook. You, you know, that's, that's very expensive trying to eat out every day like that. Hey, bro, appreciate this, though, man. I'll be having fun with you because I'll be listening. Man, that story with um, Aaliyah, um, yo, um, yo, your sister. Yeah, uh huh. Aaliyah, my mom. At one time, she was, what I'm saying, you said that they um, stole your EBT card. And <laughs> her dog yeah, I had $700. Oh, I had $700. Nice. Nah, nice. Yeah. Y'all had seven hundred dollars on my EBT card. Her and her her daughters staying up all night watching TV, eating, ate that seven hundred dollars up in, in in what a few weeks. Cause that's what they do. They sleep all day. They sleep all day, and then they stay up all night watching TV, eating. And she was angry at me because. She wanted me to get into that routine, sleeping all day. I'm like, I, I don't do that. So what I did, she forced me to stay up all night and all day. And I, and I was taking naps. Because she wanted me to stay up all night with her and watch them black and white old ass. You know, she's an old, a old dingbat. You know, she come from the 1950. She liked those old black and white movies. And she wanted me to stay up all night watching my old black and white movies with her, you know. And, and then she sleep all day. I said, I can't, I can't do that. I'm not into this. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, I, man, I'm getting these calls. But the, the question that I have, bro, can you hear me? Hold yeah, up. you sort of, you sort of muffled. Okay, what about now? Do I sound a little bit better? Little yeah, bit better I gotta understand what you're saying. Yeah. Well, my question was, um, was there, damn, almost forgot, but, okay, you said you never loved her. No. Um, well, she a good sister. I never, and I never told her. I never told her that. I told her. She would, look, look, look the, 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 the reality was she just wanted some, some ding -a -ling. That was the reality. The reality was... And she wanted to be she wanted a slave and she wanted to be your wife. Did she want to be your wife? Is the question. Did she want to be your wife? That was she, she wanted she wanted to put on this show for her her zombie followers. You know, I'm married and everything, and blah 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 blah. This woman just wanted some dingling, okay? That was the bottom line. You put on this show for your followers. Ooh, we married, fake ass wedding. They don't know, they don't know no better. They don't know. You know, fake ass marriage. Now, actually, now technically, it could have been a real marriage, but in order to have a real marriage, and and and, and you you you've been married, you know about about it. In order for your marriage to be valid or legal in this country, it must it, it must be validated by a court. Now, what we did was valid. But it has to be registered in the court system. And it wasn't. So it's, it's not valid. 
It has to be registered in the court system. And so, and on top of that, since the marriage was less than three months, it's 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 annulled anyway. But that was a show she put on for her daughters. You know, I'm I'm married. You know, I can get down. The only thing that woman wanted was some dingling. And I told her I wasn't into that. Look, look, Craig. If you saw this woman with no clothes on, it'll make you puke. Okay. You ain't gonna do nothing with her. Well, some of y'all, I don't know, some of y'all, y'all do anything, got a anything that got a hole in it, you go for <laughs> like <"Ugh." laughs> I this woman took her clothes off. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. and make you throw up all kinds of lumps and bumps and bulges. <laughs> She got all kinds of fat rolls in her legs. I'm like, oh, God. You damn right I was chemically castrated. It happened when I saw your fat ass naked. Ugh. And then she told me, I got a fat booty, don't I? You know, you know how some of these, some of these, yeah, I gotta get on you, man. You know, you know how some all of these fat stuff. women, huh? <laughs> all this stuff, man. Um, what I'm saying is the fact of the matter that man, I thought she was for all the sister. Like she's not a sister. No. Cause her now she I mean, damn, look at what you said about her, bro. You like she she's, she's, a a she's a dog. Like she is like a dog. She, she's she's worse than a dog. Even a dog would get more respect than she gets. That's what you're saying, bro. That's right. Uh, hey, go a, ahead, keep going there. Look, that's why I just want to make that perfect look for any play. What you said. This woman, look, 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 this woman, is, look, this woman is a manipulator and a deceiver. And she's all used up. This woman done had about nine children. She's been married about seven times. Who knows how many men she's been with? Look, I can count the women I've been on, been with on my hand. Because I, like I told you, I'm not like that. I'm not a whore. She's a whore, a whore woman. She get married. She gets married just so she can justify sucking somebody's ding -a -ling. No more, no less. And then in three months, she gone because she done sucked all the ding -a -ling up and she ready to move on. That's what she did to Eric Muhammad. And she also got mad at Eric Muhammad because he wouldn't bow down to her, you know, follow follow her leadership and all that crap. You know, she wants to be a leader. She wants to be a leader. There's no man in her house, Craig. Not even little boy. Only daughters is in that house. She has no man. See, this is the thing about it. She stole my hat and my coat. Men, there's no men in the house. Why, why do you want a man's hat and a man's coat? Ain't no man in the house to this day. It's not even a man in her house. And she can't keep a man because she's foul. She can't keep a man because she don't have nothing to offer. Send her fat ass up in a suburb of Detroit in one of them low income housing. Laying up watching TV all day. She talking about what she do active. Show us what you do active. You running your damn mouth. You actively eat a lot of food. That's what you actively do, lady. She, you know, she might, she might fool a lot of these folks out here because they don't know her. And she do the same thing she do to everybody. Cause I know she invited Sister Noble to come live with her. Oh, I, I hope Sister Noble do it. Sister Noble not that stupid. But if Sister Noble look, if Sister Noble went and lived with her for a week, it'll be on and popping. Sister Noble gonna be homeless. She'll go, she'll throw Sister Noble out real quick on the street, like she did me. And if it's possible, she'll wait for the worst day to throw your ass out on the street. Craig, she did it to her own children. She pulled guns on her own children. A ask, ask, ask her about her, her daughters in Cincinnati. She don't never want to talk about those daughters in Cincinnati. They escaped, they escaped the uh slave plantation. She hate their guts because they love her slave plantation. 
But that's how she living. If it wasn't for them, she wouldn't be living as good as she's living. Because those daughters are so messed up. You know, they drunkards and weed smokers and bisexual. They all messed up. The court determined they was unfit parents. And so she has their children because they was unfit parents. And that's how she's living. She She's living on her. Uh, she might be able to get Social Security now because she's over 65. And she's getting that foster, foster grant money. That's how she's living. And she got them daughters in there. She talked about they work at Ford or whatever, which could be true, but I really doubt it. See, she's a cult leader. She keeps these children and all these people away from other folks. That's how you control. Because if her daughters really was out in the world working at Ford, one of these uh, plants and, and meeting other people, they're going to they're going to get a, they're going to get the desire to leave her and want to go live their own life. Wow. The, the world is much, much, much more of strength. Islam you teaching. You breaking it down, bro. Oh, my God, man. That's why yesterday I wanted to bring you on. But when they start screaming, you got these two sisters over here screaming to the, at the top of their lungs. I'm like, oh, no, this is not a good. This, not, <laughs> this is going to be really this is going to go really bad. So I didn't want to bring you on, man, with these two sisters. Up and Craig. Yeah, ex yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you know she's a Trump supporter, right? Oh, man, I don't support, man. I don't support white politics. Well, she do. And she ran for, yeah, I, for uh, Toledo City Council and came in number 13 out of 15 or something like that. It was, okay, it was real low. Let's talk she about lost that real bad. Let's have huh? that conversation. Let's have that conversation. Um, yeah, could, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad did not teach that. He he said, "Stay out of the white man's politics." Yes, yes, sir. Let me just make unless sense. you know, unless you know definitely that there's a person that can re really represent black people. Yes, sir. Well, and so far, true. so far, there's none. There's no politicians that I know of is like that. Yes, Especially Donald my, Trump. Yeah, but see, my thing has always been this. Bro. Can they, how can you be fair? support any white politician. I don't care. Um, Joe Biden or Donald Trump. How mm -hmm. can you be pro? I mean, how can you be an African? I thought, how can you represent and rock the red, black, and green markers from Sean Garvey Universal Negro Improvement Association flag when the most honorable markers from Sean Garvey, man, taught us to, we had to do for self. Yeah. I was doing for self, supporting Donald Trump. Or Joe Biden, any white leadership, mm -hmm. how is that doing for yourself? Oh, brother, up, man. I mean, yo, you know, we could talk about Africa, bro, on the stream, man. I mean, bro, I'm ready to go off, man, and just let people know. That's how I feel, man. How is okay to these um um bread to these art these RBGs, right? To these pan mm -hmm. How is supporting white politics? How does that form a line? And with the most honorable Marcus on the side of God Please, am I not the only one that's seeing this? All these well, dudes coming it, you know, since about you brought Trump. that up, since you brought that up, Craig, I have a question. Well, um, I raised the question about Guy, and he said he celebrate Christmas, and he said he celebrate Thanksgiving. It always have these, and he said it has these African origins, and I'm too stupid. I don't, you know, I don't get the info. Let me tell you something, sir. You dressed up like the white man Santa Claus, okay? You just, you're trying to justify your behaviors. You dressed up like the white man Santa Claus, the cracker that come from the North Pole, sir. What you think about this? <laughs> what you think about what if I celebrate Santa Claus? And I think my Santa Claus would play my disguise. It's gonna be a big fat <laughs> black man. It's gonna come down and watch you. Like Marcus Garvey is my Santa Claus. <laughs> it's like it's hard to say that in there. <laughs> <laughs> and and the thing about it also is how come how come you celebrate Christmas and how come you celebrate if it's so Africanized and it comes from Africa, how come your African Christmas is on the same day that the white man's Africa Christmas is? Explain that, sir. And how come you dress and look like you look like a, a, a elf? And your Thanksgiving 
is on the same day that the white man's Thanksgiving. Explain that, Mr. Pat Africa. I want to, I want him to explain how come it fall on the same at the same time that the white man's holidays fall on. Explain that to me. See, it's 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 a lot of fakery going on. You know, you talk about the cracker and you talk about all this. Also, if I remember in some conversations, you know, guy got a history of having white girlfriends in, in the past. I remember some of those old uh, conversations. Guy messed around with white girls back in the past. Now he's so Pat African, so pro blackity black black, and you know, and and he don't lick he don't lick the inside of some white woman's booty hole. <laughs> you funny man. There's no there's no white woman that can come from anywhere that would tell you I've been with her. She'll tell you I rejected her. She'll never tell you I don't have white women cry. Oh, you don't like me because I'm white. I say, yes. <laughs> yes, I can't, I can't do that. You're a nice person. You know, these white women that I, I mess, look, if I wanted to be married to a white woman, I could have been married to a white woman a long time ago. These white women had money and they treated me nice. This white lady told me, you don't have to work for the rest of your life. You know, I keep thinking about it. I said, damn, I should have took that offer. <laughs> Yes, with the <laughs> They're gonna probably take this video though. Huh? But I don't that's I hate to say this. They're yeah. probably gonna take this video down, but man, to my brothers out here, I don't give a goddamn. I'm not Dr. Moore Johnson. I mm -hmm. don't give a goddamn if you rape them. They rape my my woman. My woman. Shit, my um ancestor, my my sister. My queens from Nigeria, the mm -hmm. British right now. I don't give a goddamn if you rape a goddamn white woman. And I better not be on the damn jury. Because if I'm on the jury, it's an automatic acquittal. I don't give a goddamn if shit rape the white woman and kill the white man. And I know my whole state probably gonna get shut down for making that statement. Y'all, but keep mm -hmm. going, bro. Yeah. But uh, these are some contradictions here that people are portraying and see he got angry because Maurice left that's funny why are you getting upset that's that's the funny you you try you putting on this facade that you are some this pro blackity black pat african and here you are we got a picture of you dressed up like santa claus ho 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 negro how the hell are you gonna get angry at Maurice because he chuckled at that that's you. You the one put that out there. Now I noticed he took all his pictures down from his Facebook because I, I saw his wife, his children, his cat. He done took all, all the pictures down on his face. What, what you shame of, sir? Are you shame of your wife and your children? I know what your wife and your children and your cat look like. He had a cat look like Run DMC, had all them chains around his neck and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he had a cat. <laughs> he had a black cat had, had ropes and stuff around his neck like he run DMC or somebody. Uh, you talking about a picture or a cat that he actually owns? No, it's a it's his cat in the house, I guess. <laughs> no, oh, these these are these are photos of his of his people. Guy had pictures of his wife and children and, and his cat, all that was on his face. He done took all those pictures down. Because he know people are gonna gonna search him. Yeah, my issue is man. And the picture man. and look, and he still got look, he got a picture of him with Rolling Stone magazine over his head, and, and he looked like he got a beer in his in his, in his head drinking. See, you know my character, bro. And you know, I've been into this man, and you know, bro, my African supremacy TV on channel, mm -hmm. man, I originally was black. Panther Party 9. Okay? And that channel got shut down because it was yeah. like over a thousand subscribers way back mm -hmm. then. I, I was just putting out man, stuff about Malcolm X and you know, just sharing different um, things. Yeah, that channel got shut down way back. But the African Supremacy channel had, was already up at over 100 subscribers. And mm -hmm. um, shit, I, I closed it myself. 
because mm-hmm. all this beef between yeah. you and Brother Maurice about this. Mo- Yo, did you know? And I wish Brother Brother Maurice was more than welcome to come on the panel and speak for himself. But mm-hmm. originally, he called me the hell out just because I tried to stay cool with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, disown me and try to disown Brother God because Brother God stayed cool with me. Because I stayed cool with you back in those days. I know mm-hmm. you remember this, man. You seen them streams? Yeah. So, but much love to Brother Maurice, because one thing I like about Brother Maurice is the fact that he'll say things, but then he will humbly come back to it. As a man, a man that's black first, he will humbly come back to you and try his best to make the peace. So much yeah. love to Brother Maurice. Yeah. But also. Man, look at the, the group that we had, brother. Um, yeah. Tyreek even rock. It was me, you, brother Guy, brother Curry, yeah. brother Maurice, sister yeah. Ingram, brother yeah. Tyreek, um, yeah. um, sister Noob. Yeah. Um, sh- man, the list goes on and on and on. Man, our group should have been. I was just talking to brother Guy about this. And he, he, he actually brought this up. Man, our group should have been so big at this point, man. We should have been building a movement. But unfortunately, due to disagreements and ideology, we all, we all had to separate. We couldn't build this movement. But go ahead, brother. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're absolutely right. I I mean, the people enjoyed what they were seeing. And we were steady, steady growing. And the people liked to see what we was doing and I knew that it could go a long way but unfortunately when we start thinking what we want see it's not about what Angel Snub Nub 7 wants see Operation Exodus Mississippi is not about what Angel Snub Nub 7 want because if it, if it was up to Angel Snub Nub 7 I don't want to be around Pat Africans I don't want to be around Christians I don't want to be my, my vision for what I want, religion would be outlawed. There no no religion, no spirituality, none of that crap would be around my that's what I want. I, mean, I just have to ask you this question. Okay, yeah. when you say when you say you don't want to be part well, Pan Africans, like what, what okay, what is Pan Africans? I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know really don't Since know. You, but I don't you, wanna... you made the claim though, brother. You you don't want to be around Pan Africans. So what is a Pan African, brother? You well, pan, uh, technically, technically, only thing a Pan African supposed to be, and from when I was growing up, Pan Africanism was simply we trying to unite black people across the globe. That's all it was. It, it was not. What's the problem with that? And ain't nothing. Bro, well, hold on, bro. I mean, this is why, man. I still be. I'm talking about, did you hear what you just said? That what a Pan-African is, is just a black man that wants all black men, all black right. men across I can the get, globe. And I can get with that. where you're at. Right. To, and get I can, nice. get, I can get with that. What's the problem with that, brother? I can get with that. I'm talking about this modern day stuff, like what God be talking about, kill the homosexuals and I hate the NRA, you know, all those dumb stuff. I don't want to hear that crap. You can't tell nobody you can't tell no. Everybody has different experiences in in this country. All black people across this this nation, if they are descendants of slaves, been through oppression, they all deserve liberation. They all deserve to be happy. I don't give a damn if they're homosexual or if they're a crackhead or wherever the, wherever they come from are in this world. That don't mean that I advocate. That don't mean I advocate that behavior. I support that behavior or nothing like that. But the people. They deserve just like the way you live your they life. See, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people don't like the way you live your life. Yeah, See, I'm not justice. into that. I agree with that. They yeah. deserve justice. They, they deserve, deserve justice. reparations. Yeah, they it deserve reparations. Matter. You could be yeah, in an interracial relationship as long as you uh, descend from a slave or you descend, descend from, you know, segregation. You yeah. Separate. No matter what you what you choose to live your lifestyle. To this day, because we don't remember, we always talk about getting to the roots. You can't 
you chop down a tree and leave the roots there. It's just going to grow back. We have to leave roots. So, yes, sir, I agree with you. But I'll say, brother, continue. Yes. Yeah. I'm just going to put this out for the video. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, so, see, Operation X in Mississippi is not about my personal wants. It's about what is in the best interest of a people and understanding the diversity of that people so they can come together and work together in order to make this a reality. Of course, you're going to call something a pipe dream when you're selfish and the only thing you want to do is look out for what you want. So, yes, of course, it's a pipe dream. And of course, it's a pipe dream when that's not what you want, because you're not going to help make it a, a, a reality. Of so, of course, it's a pipe dream. Now, on the live stream we had with, with Guy, he was talking about how he dressed up like Superman and he wants to be this role model for the children, whatever. And I asked him, how can that compare? with taking control of a state and show the children a real Superman what, what real men do. I ain't talking about no fictional character. I'm not talking about putting on no bed sheet talking about I'm Superman. I'm talking about men really going out here to do the job, take control of a state. You take, you take your young children, your young boys and your young girls and say, we control this. It's our laws. We control this water. See these lakes and these rivers that go through Mississippi? We control that. We control the electricity. We control the gas. We control the jail. That's the real superhero. God represents fantasy and fiction fairy tale. Operation Exodus in Mississippi will give you real superhero. And you don't have to wear a damn cape. So which one do you want? The fake superhero? and live in La La Land or the real superhero. Now, it's easy to live in La La Land, but in order to be a real superhero, it's going to take a whole lot of work, a whole lot of sacrifice. And a lot of these people not willing, the only thing they want to do is make a YouTube video and do some titlywink stuff. If you Look, Brother Craig, if you're not willing to do it big, you might as well sit your happy ass down. Your little, your little selling some red, black, and green shoes on the corner, your little funky African school, all these little tiddlywinks, even if you had a billion dollar company, that don't mean nothing in the grand scheme of things because that little stuff can only help a little people. But something on a grand scale of the Mississippi campaign, you gain power because you got to respect a state. Even right now, though we don't control Mississippi, if Mississippi speaks, it's going to get heard by the federal government when their attorney general make his motions in the courts and whatever, he represents the state of uh, Mississippi. Let me show, let me give you an example. Brother Craig, you remember those immigrants, there was a time when those immigrants was coming across the border and um, Donald Trump was making moves on the immigrants and there was a lot of cities and they called themselves sanctuary city because he wanted to put those immigrants in concentration camps and blah, blah, blah. And those cities refused yeah. to do it. Okay. Now, can't this me, is a, you can't hear me? Well, no, I hear you. I was just making sure because you called my name. I was just trying to say. Oh, yeah. No, I, Yo, I, can you, you remember? I, you I, remember no, I don't these, remember. I just remember yeah, okay. the recent thing. Yeah. Okay. Donald that. Trump. When those immigrants was coming across the border from Central America, he wanted those people put in detention centers and stuff. And the city said no. They refused to obey the orders of the federal government. Matter of fact, Atlanta, I believe, became a sanctuary city for these immigrants. Wait a second, bro. I can't hear you. I'm Angel snapping up. I can't hear you, brother. Well, I don't know what's I don't know what to do. Okay, with. I hear you now. Now you got okay. back on. Okay, I hear you now. Okay. Continue. Okay, so they had sanctuary cities to protect these immigrants. These now these are cities. They defied the federal government because Donald Trump wanted to put these immigrants 
in these detention centers and these sanctuary cities defied the federal government and there's nothing Donald Trump could do about it. And they, the, the immigrants came over and these cities protected them. This is the concept of the Mississippi campaign. You, you create a, a sanctuary state, a safe haven state, so that we can do the same thing for our people, for us, the same way that those cities done for those immigrants coming across the border. And there's nothing the federal government gonna do about it. Can't do nothing with you. Also, if you have a vision and a plan, oh man, I can see, I see Mississippi for us, and it, it don't even have to stay Mississippi, like I said. We can change the state of Mississippi to little Africa if we want to. Hell, we run it. We got the voting power. We run it. We control it. And we take a vote. We're going to change the name from Mississippi to little Africa. Whatever we want. Because we control it. We got the power. Can't do that when you don't have no power. We can take that. We can take down their flag, put up our own brand new Mississippi flag, little Africa flag, all that kind of good stuff. That's the real superhero. What God talking about is not, that's fantasy fiction, putting on a cape, pretending you some, the Black Panther or some damn body. And by the way, the Black Panther was created by a Jewish white man who don't know nothing about Africa, just put some stuff together and, and because he wanted to sell more comic books. So he aimed and made black superheroes to get that black money. It had nothing to do with his love of Africa or anything, just like Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was created to get that get uh, money from girls. That's why Wonder Woman was created. Now they got now they got homosexual superheroes and all this kind of stuff. It's about money. It's about making money. The Black Panther, Luke Cage, Power Man, and all this other stuff. These are characters that was created to get the black money. We don't even support our own black superheroes, but I understand because our own black su superheroes, we really, we really don't understand how to create a superhero. I think I do. Matter of fact, I could share it. I could send you. Uh, okay, I brother. Send you, I yeah. want you to continue talking. My yeah. ride is here to pick me up, man, to come take me to get my car. So just continue talking, man. I ain't going to be able to respond. So if you if I do not respond, just, can, just keep going, man. I'm going to be listening. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just go for as long as you can, bro. Okay. All right. But that's what Mississippi campaign is about. To put yourself in a position to bring you and I real power. And it must be understood that we who live today, it's not about what we want. It's about what the people need. It's about what the future generations need. What we want might become a reality long after we're dead. We have to be not selfish and start the process. Just like we don't come into this world as an adult human being. We start off as two cells and then we evolve and this is this is a process this is a process to get the process started if the sperm don't meet the egg there's no baby so this this is a process we have to start we have to bring the egg and the sperm together to begin the process and then we must make sure that the embryo develops properly oh man i, I love it I love it. It's so real. And it's complex, but it's simple. I love it. I can see it. But when your head is filled with all these different ideologies that have been around for 100 years, and, and not to take anything away from these movements and whatever, but they have not been able to solve the problem because of their flaw. 
And one of their flaws is religious. Religion causes division. Self-righteous morality causes division because you want somebody to be like you according to your idea of what that morality is. What is right to you might be wrong to somebody else. So you have to have a plan. You have to have a vision. You have to have an appropriate action that is void of those things. So people don't have a problem with helping in getting something done that is beneficial not only to us who live today, but those who will come after us tomorrow. And that is what the Mississippi campaign is about. Get on the soul train. When you saw the soul train, Don Cornelius, and all those brothers and sisters going down the, the soul train line, nobody cared if you was a Hebrew Israelite. Nobody cared if you was a Muslim or a Christian. Nobody asked you if you was a homosexual. You just got on the soul train, got in the, in the line, and went down the line. And as soul train evolved, they allowed other people to come join the soul train because they respected you and us as a people. They wanted to have some soul too. So you had Caucasian people going down the soul train. You had Chinese, Asians, and other people. They wanted to get on the soul train too. But who is the one that is the actual locomotive? We are the ones. They follow in your lead. They want to be like you. Now here in 2021, you're trying to be like these other people. You are a follower. You have lost your creativity. You lost your vision. The only thing most of you are, are plagiarists. You teach that the black man is the original man, but you do nothing original. You plagiarize, you plagiarize, you copy, you quote from sources way other than yourself, constantly. You do nothing original. You're in a situation where if you don't do something big, you might as well not do nothing at all because the reality is we're too far behind in this race, speaking of race. And like Dr. Claude Anderson said, racism is a team sport. Racism is, is about a race. It's about a group of people in a race running the gauntlet, trying to get resources, trying to gain power for their race in a race. Now, certainly, we can use and it's not an excuse, it's a reality. One of the reasons why we as a people have been far behind in this race is because there are people who put obstacles in our path. Jim Crow, the black codes, the constant discrimination. We cannot compare ourselves to others the Chinese or the Africans or any of these other people, immigrants that come across these borders, you cannot and we cannot compare ourselves to them. There was no laws to hinder their progress. There was laws on the books to keep our ancestors, to keep us, even to this day, whether they are written or whether they are silent, it's understood. Let's keep the Negroes down. We know this. So many of us is in prisons and jails all over this country. Is it really because we're so violent and, and nasty and evil? No, it's because of these laws. They hinder us. to get us. to stop us from progressing. One of the most famous examples is the crack versus cocaine. They know most black people was doing crack. They know most white folks was doing 
powder cocaine. They made the laws vicious. It's both cocaine. Crack and cocaine, it's all cocaine. But the punishment for crack was 10 times worse than possession of cocaine. This was designed to get us, and they know it. I want to say something. See, we live with devils. I talked to Nepal. Yeah. I talked to, talk to Nepal. Yeah, I'm still rolling. I talked to Nepal and Sarnetta yesterday. And Sarnetta was a man. He said, I, I initiated the flagging of my channels. But when you look at what happened, that was beyond Sarnetta's power. That was Google. Google took down my channel. Sanetta and Nepal did initiate it, but it was Google. Google used that action to get me. Every time my channels get strong, every time I get a lot of attention, Google takes my channels down. It's Google. Not Sanetta and Nepal. But they would do, and she told me she would do whatever she can to try to, on her end, if it's possible. It's, it's messed up. I don't even think she can do anything on her end. That was Google. Google did that to me. Every time my channel starts getting a lot of attention and gets strong, that's what Google does, take down my channels. They just use Sinetta, and they thought, they thought, it was going to create a big beef or something between myself and them. You, you, you failed. You failed, Google. Because I knew when I saw that mess, I'm like, this is beyond a, a YouTuber. They can't do this. Hey, Brother Craig. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I saw you. You do know yeah, your picture cool, popped up there, you. right? Yeah. No, I tried. Yeah, I tried to do that, but yeah, no, continue. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, y'all yeah, was just talking about Nepal and my channel's getting flagged down. That was a Google move. I talked to Sarnetta. He did initiate it. He was a man. He said he did initiate the flagging. But it, but if you look at what happened, Google just used him to do what they done. That's a Google move. Every time my channels get strong, every time I start getting a little of attention, Google takes down my channel. Google, that's a Google move. So Google, you fail. You fail. I know who did it. I knew as soon as I saw the mess, I said, this is, it's beyond, this is beyond a YouTuber. YouTuber can't do this. Google done that. The corporation, because you know me and Google don't get along. This is why we need our own platform. We need to do be able to do our own thing. But the problem here also, Craig, is look how we act. We won't be no better than Google. You think, you think uh, if somebody is a Christian and they started a platform, they're going to want people to, to come and speak against Christianity on their platform? They're not going to do it. They're going to want to flag and mess with people who are anti-Christian or whatever. Because we have the same mindset that they do. So it don't make any difference. Our own version of Facebook, our own version of YouTube, you're still going to get flagged. You're still going to be censored. There's nothing going to change because if, if you're going to do anything different, then why do you block people? These people block and they false flag and they do all these different things. So what is what is going to change just because now the Facebook is black owned or the Facebook version or the YouTube version is black owned? Ain't nothing going to change. You're going to do the same thing that Mark Zuckerberg do, especially if you depend on advertising to support your channel. 
you know, advertisers don't like certain uh, commentary. What are you going to do different unless we're, you're able to get businesses and advertisers who also support this type of commentary? It's not going to happen. I want to say this, going back to Aaliyah Porkchop. It's sad. Because that's not me. But I know what happened to me. I know what this woman done to me. I'll take a lie detector test. Everything I say is real. Who going to pay for it? See, if you're really interested and you really want to know the truth, why don't somebody volunteer? Let Angel Snub Number Seven take a lie detector test. Give the questions you want answered to the examiner. Tell me where I need to go. I'll take the lie detector test, and I guarantee you I will pass. You don't want to know. You don't want to know the truth. Only thing you want to do is come on here, and you like the bashing, and you like the beefing. I'm not bashing nobody. I'm telling the truth. I'm not bashing her. I don't appreciate what she done to me. That's an evil and wicked thing what she done to me. I didn't have nothing, Craig. I didn't have nothing. I had an EBT card, and luckily I had some credit cards. Why did I have credit cards? I had credit cards because I had worked, and I had good credit. That's the reason why. I was having problems finding a job. And this woman took advantage of me. And she stole from me. Verbally abusive and whether she liked it or not, what she done, she raped me. Because I did not want her like that. I didn't never, I never told her I loved her. I always said I liked you very much. And then when I was in her house, I definitely didn't have no love for her because she's a tyrant and all those children in that house nothing but zombies they're nothing but her servants I feel sorry for those those people those children those daughters in that house if she gets so sick or she die they don't know how to take care of themselves they don't have they don't know how to take care of nothing they depend on her for everything they don't think for themselves at all. Her, her mind is their mind. It is a sad situation. Now, Sister Noble, on the other hand, if she gave us a chance, we can talk all this out. We don't have to be friends no more in life, but we can talk all this, this out because it ain't that serious with Sister Noble at all, period. Sister Noble didn't try to hurt me like that like this woman. This woman was verbally abusive. This woman went in my safe and stole my money, the little money that I had. Stole my little bath towels. I mean, she's just a nasty ass thing. And oh, then of course, she filed that bogus police report trying to get me in trouble. I'm stalking her. What, what the evidence? It's just your word. Ain't nobody stalking you, lady. I was glad to get the hell away from you. Won't nothing to do with you. She was mad because I took, uh, I took her son, her son's urn, and I took the keys to her car, which I would, I would have happily returned all that. But then I learned she stole my money. Went in my safe and said, "So my money gone." And I'll be happy. Give me my stuff that you that you stole. Well, I don't spent the money. Well, I guess you, you're not getting your son. You're not getting this urn back. And I gave that urn to her daughters in Cincinnati, Ohio. The daughters have it that she hate. They have the 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 the, the ashes. I wasn't even so low down to flush the ashes down the toilet. I just waited and waited, and I I became a cordial with the daughter and gave the, the, uh, 
those ashes to the daughter because I didn't have the heart because this poor boy, even though he's deceased, he didn't have nothing to do with none of his, you know, his, but if he was supposed to be so valuable to her, give me my money. Apparently he must not be as valuable as you claim. She don't give a damn about nobody. That woman don't love nobody. She don't love her daughters. She don't love nobody except herself. It's about all about her and what she wants. Always wishing somebody to die. You gonna die. That's not Elijah Muhammad's teaching. I always talk about Elijah Muhammad teaching. Where do Elijah Muhammad teaching where he wished, oh, well, I take that back. They wanted Malcolm dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. That is the teachings. Yeah, they. that is the attitude. See, I told you. The same attitude that they had, they wanted Malcolm dead. But they couldn't wait. They had to take the situation in their own hands and kill that man. And this is the thing about Guy. Guy talking about he loved Malcolm X. This woman hates Malcolm X to the core. She wished she could kill Malcolm X again. That's how much she hates Malcolm X. And that's one of the things, uh, besides sucking penis, the Malcolm X issue was a problem for her with me. What the Nation of Islam, what Elijah Muhammad did was wrong. What they did to Malcolm. That was cowardly. Keep blaming the government. It's easy to blame the government because of the government's past and what they do. The death of Malcolm X was not nothing go uh, government. They have never proven that the people that pulled the trigger was government agents. Even the ones that they jailed up and was accused. None of them was proven to be government agents. The daughter of Malcolm X told Farrakhan, <laughs> all I know, it was black and brown hands pulling the triggers. That's what I know. And for those who've been around, the Nation of Islam beat up their own members, assault their own members. I was threatened two times myself. But I told those brothers, I said, you put your hands on me. I'm not Malcolm X. You put your hands on me, you better kill me now while you got a chance. Because I will, I'll be like the Terminator. I will be back. Burn this temple down. I don't play. You don't put your hands on me. So. Yeah, she's violent like that. Against black people. All that hollering and screaming that she do. And all, I don't want to be on the panel. Yeah, you don't want to be on the panel with the truth. Calm your happy ass down. And let's break this down. You, you put out your, you present what you're talking about. I present what I talk about. Shut the hell up. And I can guarantee you, I'll blow your damn lies out the river. Hollering and screaming, that's nothing but distraction, deflection tactics. That's all it is. Let's talk about the issue. You ain't that damn upset. And I am going to stay on your happy ass. You're not going to be on social media. I'm going to let people know what you are about and what you're doing. I do not put Sister Noble in the same category. I can, if given a chance, I can talk and mend things with Sister Noble. I, I know this. We've done it many, many times. But she listened to poison like Aaliyah Porkchop, and she listened to that poisonous ass Karen and make things worse. Because Sister Noble knows me know me personally, know my business, know me in person. 
Sister Noble don't know pork chop. Sister Noble don't know Karen. She know me in person. But there's a man, there's a bias against men. That she has a bias and a hatred for men. If I was a woman, I don't think Sister Noah would be treating me the way she treat me. It's a bias. Oh, the, the man's so terrible. Men do this. Oh, women don't do anything. Everything women do is angelic and beautiful. They don't lie. They don't cheat. They don't do anything. See, that's, that's false. That's false. It's a lot of men in prison right now because of a lying ass woman. We know this. <clears throat> The reality's tip on earth is, is just and fair. I know what women do. Women lie. Children lie. And if a dog could lie, they would lie. For self-benefit. We know these things. I know what this woman done to me. And I'm not going to let her get away with it. She can lie. She can keep lying and crying and oh, boo hoo hoo. You know. Bring your ass. Stop the crocodile tears. One on one. I say my, I keep my mouth shut. Let you talk and you let me talk and challenge the views. Bring your receipts or whatever you got. Well, you don't have no, don't even have no receipts except your bogus ass police report that you filed with no evidence to support. No evidence to support, just allegation. Trying to get a brother in trouble. Fake ass. I love black people. You're a damn lie. You're only out for yourself. Most of these people are out for themselves. I was in a relationship with you. I should give. Well, what did you give me? Well, I spent my time. I spent my time with you too. What'd you give me? All thing you did was take. You didn't do a damn thing for me. It was all about you. I gave you my time. You sound like a, a prostitute. If that's the case, if I'm giving you money and the only thing you're doing is giving me this, you sound like a prostitute. Because this, this don't sound like no equal loving relationship that you was trying to do. You sound like, like you a hoe and I'm I'm pay, I'm buying you. You making yourself look bad. If Sister Noble and this woman ain't giving me nothing back because I'm giving you it's the same time the same time that you sharing with me, I'm sharing my time with your happy ass. But money is coming out of my pocket. Ain't nothing coming out. What are you giving me? So y'all, so really you making yourself look bad. You sound like some highly paid hoes, prostitutes. You ain't giving me nothing. And Aaliyah Porkchop, I suffered Verbal abuse. She raped me and she stole from me. I don't I don't appreciate that. I did a lot for Sister Noble. Y'all, you can I got the receipts. What Sister Noble do for me? She put up a few videos. I had to beg her to do that. I had to beg her, had an argument over it. I'm like, I'm doing all this for you. You can't put no a few videos up. I had to beg her to do that. And guess what? She took them all down. So what was the purpose? So you didn't do nothing for me. All the videos you put up for me, you took them right back down. So you didn't do nothing for me. You haven't done nothing for me. And then you go get the worst person you know I hate because you upset and let that person use your channel that I helped build. The reality is Temple on Earth helped build the Sister Noble channel. We supported that. 
We supported God is on trial. We supported ancient creation myth. None of these people ain't did a damn thing for you. None of them. And then you turn around and stab us in the back like that. You ain't gave us nothing. Nothing. And I'm supposed to be upset. Then you talk to me like I'm trash. <laughs> oh, you treated me so bad. <laughs> I got to get away from you talking to me like I'm garbage. I'm trash. Why are you talking on my cell phone? Why are you talking on my computer? Why are you talking on the tires that I bought? Driving the car that I bought, really, because I'm the one that paid the car off. You should be shaming yourself. Then you turn around, be a Christian. Really? I'm the bad guy. Who's the beneficiary? Pork chop is the beneficiary. Who's the beneficiary? Sister Nova is the beneficiary. What do I get? I don't get nothing. So going by what you two say, both of you are highly paid prostitutes. I paid you money and you gave me your time because you're a prostitute. Because you gave me nothing. Because a prostitute, except sex or whatever, don't give the John nothing. The John is the one giving out the gifts. Paying the price. This conversation is not even worth having. Because the majority of the people that listen to us, they know that Angel Snub Nub 7 is bringing the real. I brought receipts. I brought the contradictions out of y'all own mouths that you just said a few months ago. Now you don't. Now you going against what you said. I don't have to say, I don't, we'd already won this battle. And I would rather use my time for better things. But I'm not going to let you get away for hurting me. Oh, you hurt so much. The pain, slander, you did the same thing to me. Cyber stalking. If making a video is cyber stalking, you cyber stalking me. You put out a whole bunch of slanderous lies about me. Now, the difference between you and I or these two folks is that I roll with things that's truthful and sound logical. Not just some crap, just making us some stuff up out the air that I can't prove. Like this famous lie. I'm going to say this, you know, stupid stuff. My sister filed charges, Wanda. My sister in 2013 didn't even have grandchildren, you big fat slob. Didn't even have grandchildren. And yes, your daughters, when I was in that house, your daughters walked around the house the way they normally would do if even if I wasn't there with their little shorts or, or whatever. And I asked about that. It says nothing but you. You know, you part of the family. You, you, you know, we married, blah, blah, blah. And those old young girls, whatever, never was worried about me being disrespectful to them. I was in the house with those young girls by myself. You outside in front of the house smoking weed in the car. Damn dope head. I took the one young girl, I forgot what her name was. Took her to get her hair braided, just me and her. And I wait with the young girl while she getting her hair braided. Just me and her. Then the same young girl, the other sister, we went to the grocery store by ourselves. I've been with those girls by myself. And the only one that was a, a, a scary 
was a Karana with her scary ass. Because I guess she didn't want to get accused of maybe trying to want me or, or something because because she got uh, urges as a, as a female. Giving those young women vibrators because you know they're never going to have a man so they can pleasure themselves. You a pathetic piece of trash. A loser, real loser. Of course those girls are going to side with you. I remember the last time I talked to Medina. She know you was wrong. And she told me, I'm sorry, I, I can't go against my mom. That's expected. If, if you knew that she was agreeing with the things that I was saying, you would throw her out the house. She don't know how to survive. She'd be all messed up. You would throw her out the house. You're a mean, low down piece of garbage. Again. I can talk with Sister Noble if she give me a chance. But this uh this hog, she's an evil, wicked demon. Dirty, low down. You just don't know. I have no idea of what I had to go through. This clown trying to force me to be some kind of uh Muslim. I told you I she knew I wasn't no damn Muslim. I'm very disappointed in God because it wasn't even a, a week. He said out of his own mouth, I'm not going to be on no panels bashing you like that. I'm not going to be participating in that. Now, for me, you can be on a panel with people that you're cool with and they might not be cool with me. That's that's great. That don't bother me. But you jo he joined in the bashing, laughing and giggling with them. So that makes them believe that he's with, he's believing and with their garbage. That's fake. I was on a panel with people bashing you, guy in Hollywood. I didn't say nothing. Matter of fact, I think I was on the air and you could hear me tell them, I'm, I'm not, I can't talk, you know, I can't, I'm not, I can't say anything about Nepal, Sanetta, or Guy, because I'm, I'm in, trying to have a peace thing. I'm in negotiations. I'm having an understanding. And they understood. Nandy didn't even trip off of it in, in Black Sun. They respected my position. But when it came to pork chop, it's only popping. But you, on the other hand, because you, you got a woman-like attitude, too. You feminine and emotional, just like those women. When they got to doing that, you joined in. Craig did not. Craig did not join. Or maybe Craig did. I have to listen to that again. So I don't, I don't like that. Y'all you, you, fake. You, you're fake. And on that note, let me get out of here. And I'll catch y'all on the flip. I don't know what happened to Craig, but uh, already 5,000. Also, for y'all nosy people, even though my channel's down, we're not out. <clears throat> and you probably find the channel anyway. But Soul Liberation Day 2022 is still on and popping. You find the channel. 2.30 p.m. December the 7th. Be there or be square. And we are already 5,000. Peace.